welcome to this week's Art Gallery of Windsor Sundays in the Studio online. My name is Christina Bratt and I am the president of the Vanguard Youth Arts Collective. The activity for today will be Clay Impressions and it's a relief art creation activity. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to collect your materials, which would include a bowl, a cup, or a cookie cutter some sort of natural or modeling clay in any consistency, texture, or color. To add details later on, you might want to use some carving tools. If you don't have that, you could have a toothpick or even a popsicle stick on hand. And then of course, your found natural materials. To begin, you'll take a piece of your clay and start molding it, moving it around, warming it up with your hands. You might want to get it into the basic size or shape and start stamping it onto your work surface. This will help flatten it out and give you a picture of what you need to do next. Additionally, you could use a bowl, a bottle, a rolling pin, anything that you have on hand at home or in your kitchen to help smooth it out a little bit further and remove your fingerprints. This is really important to ensure that you get a good impression with your materials. Now you'll take that cookie cutter, that bowl, or that cup to kind of figure out your edge. I chose something that has a bit of a scalloped edge. I just wanted to have a little more detail than the basic circle or square. By this point, you will be taking your natural materials and deciding on a composition or a layout and placing them onto your clay surface. Uh, hopefully you've already gone into your backyard or into a park or into an outdoor natural space and selected some of your favorite leaves, flowers, sticks, even stones. Um, I think this is just a really great way to remind yourself of a place that you've been, a place that you love, or being in nature and what that can make you feel. For myself, I really love clover, so here I've chosen to include a lot of them in my composition. You're going to place them onto your clay surface and gently press them on. If you love nature, if you love being creative, um, then this is the type of art project that you could do over and over again and get a really cool, unique, different result every single time. Now you'll be taking your sheet of paper, placing it on top of the clay surface and pressing with your palms and then you can rub or burnish it with your hands to make sure that you get that impression. You've made it to the final step, the big reveal. So carefully, slowly peel your pieces off of the clay and ensure that they don't rip, break, or smudge. After you see your final intricate detailed design, you can decide if you wanna add more. Uh, if you don't like it, you can start again or if it's perfect, exactly as you envisioned, uh, you're finished. You may have to wait anywhere from 24 to 72 hours for it to fully dry. But by that point, you could gift it to a friend, you could put it on display in your home, and this is optional. You could take it one step further and paint it. Thank you to everyone who's watched this video, and a special thank you to the Art Gallery of Windsor and Anne Safranios and family for sponsoring this program.